Hi, I'm Bobby Velicki from the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, better known as NEMA. Thanks to the U.S. Department of Energy, we are proud to present Bids for Grids, new media for the energy workforce. In partnership with George Mason University, Northern Virginia Community College, and NEMA members, we've developed a series of short educational videos introducing electrical equipment that's used in the smart grid, the electrical grid for the 21st century. This series is going to present a dozen of the most important products that are critical to a smart grid success. Our mission is simple, to make you more aware of smart grid technologies and help you consider a career in power engineering. This edition of Bids for Grids takes us to Greenwood, South Carolina, where we will visit Eaton, who manufactures medium voltage switch gear, a vital part of the smart grid. Wow, that was fast. Here we are in Greenwood, South Carolina, Eaton Electrical's switchgear plant, where today we're gonna learn about switchgear and how it's manufactured. But more importantly, what is a switchgear? So, let's go take a look. The switchgear basically is similar to panel board, except it's a large switchboard designed to handle very high voltage and high currents. It is used in large industrial facility. It's used in wastewater treatment plants to control, turn on and off large motors. Mm -hmm. It's used in a power generating station to turn on and off uh, many loads. It consists of a switching device, such as circuit breaker or a switch. It includes measuring devices, such as current and voltage transformers. It includes protection and control devices, such as relays. And then it includes conductors, such as buses and connections, uh, to carry the power from point A to point B. How much power can this thing handle? This switchgear uh, typically is applied at voltages 2,400 volts up to 38,000 volts. Wow. And it can carry currents from 1,200 amps to 5,000 amps. Where will we see a switchgear out in the real world? It could be in the switchgear assembly at the substation at the university campus. In the university campus, you have different buildings, labs. Uh, utility is not going to supply power to different buildings and different campuses. They bring power to one location. And the switchgear from that location the supplies power to all these different buildings. So it can control the flow of electrical power more efficiently. Tell me about the assembly process for switchgear here in Greenwood. All right, we start in our fabrication department with copper and steel pieces. Mm -hmm. We bend, punch, pierce, and form both copper and steel. Then the copper parts are sent across town to our epoxy coating department, okay. which is a insulation process we put on the copper bar. Mm -hmm. The steel parts are then progressed on through our welding department and then into our powder coat department. After we fabricate the parts, Concurrently, we're also building sub-assemblies for the gear that we're building. Uh, so we have sub-assembly departments that entail uh, producing bottles, pans, drawers, uh, pre-paneled wires, and doors. And the idea is to have all of our sub-assemblies, our steel and our copper components ready. So when we get into our lean assembly process, we can start pulling these components in as needed and build the process through our lean operation up into final assembly and test and then on to shipping. Quality insurance is very important for us. Uh, we can run into issues both internal with poor quality parts that need to be rebuilt or reworked for the customer. Uh, if something of poor quality gets outside of our operation to the customer, it could result in shock or possible electrocution or death to a customer. So I, I would assume safety is the number one priority here during your process, including the line workers. Right, both safety and quality are number one. We right. strive for a culture of zero incidents, which essentially is we do not want anybody getting injured here or outside based on our uh, processes. And then uh, culture of zero quality means we have zero defects in the operation. The uh, emerging smart grid requirements that uh, is very prevalent in the industry right now uh, has really driven us to use more microprocessor-based solutions in the relays and meters, 
those products allow you to capture a lot more information that can then be fed back and enable you to more intelligently uh, turn your loads on and off, which really is what Smart Grid is driving for, just understanding more what your system is doing and being able to react accordingly based on the conditions that you are seeing. Switchgear is going to play a vital role in this uh, alternative energy options that we're seeing today with wind and solar. The energy has to be converted in both cases from wind or solar to a usable electric energy source. In both of those cases we've got to have means of, of having power flow in both directions. We've got to know when the power is essentially being used to put back onto the grid versus turning it off when the solar or wind uh, generation is not there. It's going to be the main artery. To distribute the power, to determine the power flow direction in terms of it being backfed from an alternative source versus a, the power plant, or distributing power from the rectifiers and inverters and other pieces of equipment that will be required to make this a usable form of energy. Actually, pretty much everything we make here is engineered to order. It's a very rare that we manufacture the same lineup of switchgear twice. Uh, the reason for that is every customer has different needs and wants, and we try to tailor uh, the product to exactly what they want. We're consistently working on new technology, coming up with new products uh, that we think our customers are asking for. Uh, we get that by talking to the customers and getting their feedback on, on what we have and what they want. Uh, we think to continue to be a leader in this industry, we're consistently looking for engineering talent uh, to come in and bring in a fresh perspective, fresh ideas that can help you know, drive some of the uh, new technology that we want to come out with. Right out of college, inside it you have a lot of options, a lot of options. Uh, that's what this company has. It has a lot of uh, distributions and it has a lot of divisions. It gives you um, choices. You want to be an application engineer, you want to be a software engineer, whatever you want to be, it will support you completely. It does not only give you a job, it gives you a career. Our objective today was to learn a little bit about Switchgear, how it is made, and the role it plays in the smart grid. I also wanted to give you an idea of the many types of engineering disciplines that go into the making of state-of-the-art electrical equipment. From Greenwood, South Carolina, and Eaton Electrical, I'm Bobby Balicki.